Next Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream here on this uh, March 20th, 2021 date. 4.05 West Coast time. Taking a look at the earthquake map here from the USGS over the last day. Shows quite a bit of earthquake activity around the Pacific Ring of Fire, including that 7.0 that struck off the coast of Japan that kind of triggered a tsunami warning earlier this morning. That was canceled uh, pretty quickly. And um, this earthquake was uh, pretty large. Felt over there in Tokyo area. Uh, pretty active around the region. Of course, uh, we had seen quite a bit of earthquake activity down here along the southwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. That uh, following, um, you know, ever since that 8.1 struck there, oh, a couple weeks ago now, quite a bit of heightened earthquake activity in this, around this region. We also seen that 6.6 uh, .6 over here around the Russia, off the coast of Russia area. The only part really was missing on this section of the Pacific Ring of Fire was this area right here where this 7.0 struck. So that has been uh, fulfilled now uh, with a pretty good size earthquake. Of course, um, you know, this doesn't uh, calm everything down, just kind of uh, uh, levels out the pressure a little bit in this region here. Still kind of watching uh, certain areas up here for some uh, possibly uh, further movement. A little bit of earthquake activity down south here, 6.1. This all taken place within the last 24 hours. Uh, also had almost a six-pointer out here in the Atlantic, North Atlantic area, south of Greenland, where the uh, volcano is kind of uh, doing this thing. We'll get to that here in just a second. Um, also some movement down here. Uh, almost a six-pointer as well off the coast of Mexico, 5.7 striking in that area. Some further movement over here towards the uh, Himalayas, uh, Afghanistan, and Turkey area. And now the latest quake over there around the Greece area. So some further movement kind of working its way uh, through the uh, plate tectonic chain towards the west. Uh, looking at, at Hawaii, as uh, far as the all magnitudes here go, we uh, have quite a bit of activity there around the Mauna Loa area and also in the southeast region of the Big Island. Uh, little swarm, new little swarm west, or I should say east, northeast of Mauna Loa crater area. Uh, a few microquakes there in that little cluster this is something new uh, most of the activity has been around the um, the crater area with um, a whole bunch of shallow quakes but we're still watching that pretty closely i'm sure that's next on the list to uh, uh, make the news when it comes to the eruption just a lot of earthquake activity volcanic activity solar wind events going on folks a little earthquake up here around uh oh what do we got got up here Two-pointer in New York, New York State area. Looks like uh, Altamont region, 13 kilometers below the surface. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy activity on the Earth right now, folks. Let me tell you, down here around Los Angeles, Ontario area, seen a uh, 3.1 around the concrete jungle of Los Angeles there. So movement, uh, pretty high on the uptick out here in the uh, beautiful, or I should say, on this uh, beautiful globe here that we live on. Yellowstone National Park, real quick, covering this. Uh, man, I could have swore I feel like I'm repeating myself. Hmm. Here we go. There's that 7.0 that struck there uh, in uh, Japan, or off the coast of Japan, I should say, showing up pretty nicely on the Yellowstone stations. Also a little swarming going on around Little West Thumb. A couple small microquakes back-to-back -back there in these little spike sections showing up on that seismograph station there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Iceland kicking off. Let me see where, uh, what I did with the uh, ice and volcano activity here. See some earthquake activity over the last 48 hours. This is back in the orange uh, when it comes to this um, specific volcano, which I have not mentioned the name because I just haven't figured out how to uh, pronounce it yet, but I will. Uh, an eruption ongoing at this specific volcano there in Iceland. The risk of high concentration of volcanic gases in the area. Alert phase from the Civil Protection Active uh, for this area. So... Uh, Definitely some ongoing activity there. I will include a link to the live stream that they have over there of the volcano lava coming out of a uh, fissure from the ground. Pretty cool to check out. I will include it at the end of this video as a video link. Uh, what else? We got solar weather. Let's cover that real quick. There's a major coronal hole facing the Earth's side. It's facing the Earth, producing uh, magnetic geomagnetic storms over the next couple days or so at least. You can see the... Uh, uh, schedule right here. G1 storms kicking off. Look at that 60 percent, uh, 50 to 60 percent uh, chance of aurora probabilities 
in the higher latitudes with mid, mid latitudes seeing about a 25% chance um, through the weekend and into early next week there. Wind speeds up around 600 km. Um, temperatures going up, all signs of the storm or the wind speed hitting Earth. That will continue tonight, obviously. The Aurora um, model right here will definitely show that. It's updated on the live stream every 30 seconds or so. Of course, this goes forecast lead time, looks at 42 minutes and whatnot up here. You can check this out uh, on the live stream when we are streaming, which is right now. Uh, of course, this uh, just kind of like a forecast area. Pretty cool to look at when we get storms and uh, over the next couple nights. It's something to watch pretty closely. Uh, here's an issued um, geomagnetic activity conditions here. Uh, that was issued today, 23 UTC time. Um, these are the sub aurora, aurora aerial areas, <laughs> if I can spit that out. Um, and this here is the uh, unsettled region, the uh, kind of like the higher latitudes there. But still, very possible we could see something down here, even uh, um, tonight and over the next couple nights here. We'll have to see how strong this gets. So just be on guard, be on alert. Watch that. Uh, watch your northern skies. Make sure you got a clear view and a, a, an awesome camera to, uh, to hopefully uh, get some pictures of that. Uh, let's see what else we got, folks. Uh, man, this is this is pretty much my second video I just did, my update. I just did like a 15-minute update video prior to this. And, uh, man, I, it, I forgot to hit the window capture. So I was just basically explaining everything. <coughs> explaining everything. <coughs> with, a, uh, with the wrong map on there, with the wrong screen. So, anyway, <coughs> my throat is not... Not good. It seems like it always happens for some reason. Anyway, we're going to jump off here, folks. Um, pretty active day, like I said, all over the place with volcanoes um, popping off. Lots of uptick in earthquake activity recently. Um, Hawaii is the next one to watch, I believe, folks. Um, I'm expecting, I'm sure, a ramp up of earthquakes here pretty soon. Right now, just a 2.5 and above is not showing a whole bunch. There around the Mauna Loa area, but we're kind of watching that new swarming east of the uh, east of the crater area up here, Caldera area, I should say. <clears throat> so uh, have a good night, folks. We'll chat at you guys a little bit later. Did I hit the record button this time? Yes, I did. All right, we're on a roll. Woo have a good night, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Play it safe out there. Peace out. <laughs>